The BrahMos is the world's only universal supersonic cruise missile that's in service. What's a universal missile? Well, it's a Russian concept which talks about the same missile being fired from a variety of platforms, land, sea, air, and under the surface of the sea. Three of the four variants of the BrahMos are in service today. It's been nearly 20 years now. Uh, you have the naval variant, which is a ship-launched version, which was first inducted almost 20 years back. You have the air-launched version used by the Indian Air Force, used with devastating effect uh, during Operation Sindur. You saw it uh, inflicting tremendous damage on multiple Pakistani airfields. And of course, you have the surface launch versions, which are with the Air Force and the Indian Army. Now, there's a fourth version of the BrahMos missile that was tested way back in 2013. This is the submerged launched version or the submarine launched version of the BrahMos. This was tested on the 13th of March 2013. The missile was launched. There was a single test and it was tested to its full range of then 290 kilometers and it hit its target with great precision. It was all set for induction, but there was a problem. The Navy did not have a submarine that could fit the vertical launched BrahMos, the submarine uh, launched version of the missile. And this has to do with the diameter of the BrahMos missile. Now, the Indian Navy has three types of uh, missile firing submarines, the Scorpion, the Kilo class, and of course, the HDW type 209-1500. Now, all of these submarines fire their missiles through their 533 mm torpedo tubes. But the BrahMos's diameter is much more than the diameter of these existing submarines. The BrahMos has a diameter of about 650 millimeters. The existing fleet of uh, submarines have a smaller 553 millimeter uh, diameter, which means that the BrahMos will need to be fired from a specialized launcher. Now, this is something that uh, BrahMos Corp has been working on for a number of years with the Russian uh, designers. They created an eight cell vertical launch system for conventional submarines. Now, one of the submarines that was to have fitted this special eight cell launcher was the Amur. The Amur is two uh, versions, the Amur 1650 and the Amur 950. It was a special eight to 10 uh, missile launcher plug that was to be fitted in the submarine behind the sail. But that would mean that India would have to buy the Amur submarine and buy it or build it in India. Now, the fact that you don't have uh, the Amur as an option for the Indian Navy, it was being thought of at some point for the pre-75I program, but it's now uh, not the case. The fact that you don't have the Amur as an option or uh, you're not even looking at modernizing or modi modifying the uh, Kilo class submarines to fire this missile means that the BrahMos cannot be fired from the existing fleet of conventional submarines. But what if I tell you that there's a class of Indian submarines which have the ability to fire the BrahMos missiles from VLS tubes? That's right. The first two units of the Arihant class submarine, the Arihant and the Arighat. Now, both of these submarines have four VLS tubes, vertical launch system tubes. They are meant to fire the K-15 missiles or the K-4 submarine launched ballistic missiles. Now, the interesting part is that each of these submarines also have the ability to fire four BrahMos missiles from the existing launch tube, which means that each Arihant class submarine can fire 16 missiles, 16 BrahMos cruise missiles, the Arihant and the Arigat. Of course, the Aridaman and the S-4 Star, which are to be inducted in the next couple of months, have the ability to fire double that, which means they can fire 32 BrahMos cruise missiles from their uh, VLS tubes. Now, how do we know that? Well, all goes back to that 2013 test. Because as you can see, that underwater launch was carried out from the same pontoon that was used to test fire the K-15 and the K-4 missiles. That's right, the same pontoon that was designed by the ATV Project Directorate to test fire the SLBMs was also used for the BrahMos cruise missiles. So we know that in India, if push comes to shove, we have the ability to launch BrahMos long-range land attack cruise missiles from under the water. Now, that's a very powerful tool in the hands of our uh, war uh, fighters and also gives them tremendous flexibility 
to use the Arihant class as a backup, as a uh, another kind of a launch platforms to launch first strike weapons like the Brahmos.